Okay, so today I want to do Word Module 2, Sam, end of the project. So when you come in here, I've already actually got it open here. So when you come into your class, I should go back out of this so we can see. It doesn't matter. So as I come in here, da, 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 it's today's assignment. It shows 10-4. It's taking a little bit for that to load. So here it is, Word Module 2, Sam, end of assignment. So, first off, you have the instructions, which I've already downloaded when you start this. Remember, it's got three submissions, but that's when you submit it to be graded. So, you can open and close this many times you want. So, I just open and close it. doesn't count. So, I already have the instructions downloaded. And I am I think I'll go ahead and open them and put them over on my other screen, though, just to make sure I can see them over here. And I had them. Okay. So, it's Future of Electricity here. I'll take that over to the other screen so I can see that. And then I had two sets of these instructions open already, I guess. So I will take that one over. Okay, so now we're going to open this file. And once you open this file, we always open with Word. And then the next thing we have to do is take and enable it so we can save on it. So we go Enable Editing. Then we go File, Save As. And as always, we go in here to Browse. I'm going to put this into my Documents, Fall 21, says Homework. And we always change this from a 1 to a 2. So we change that to a 2. Okay, so we have this file. And just as I explained in the first steps, it tells you to do it. The footer does not display your name. So you always want to check down here and make sure this is, you know, got your name in it. That, that way it won't grade it if it isn't. So it tells you write and report on the future electricity. In the index, I mean, you must write the paper in MLS style, incorporate your instructor. And this works a lot better if you did the Chapter 2 uh, module from the textbook. But anyway, so what first thing we need to do is modify the normal style by changing its font to Times New Roman. So up here in the Styles box, so we've got to go in here and we want to modify this normal style. So we have to right-click on the normal and go to Modify. We're going to change this formatting to Times New Roman. So it tells us to modify the normal style by changing this font to Times New Roman. The font size to 12 point. So just like we did on the training in the exam. And the line space in double, which is this one right here. It never tells you, but that's the one. With no blank space after paragraphs. So to get rid of the blank spaces after paragraph, I got to go into formatting here, go into paragraphs, and take out this line spacing here. So no line space, take that to zero. So not on line space half paragraph, say OK. Now I want to make sure only in this document. Don't have it on all do. I did this one time and I set all my new. We just want to do it in this document. Say OK. So that changed all this to double space and everything. Now it says apply the modified normal style to the first four paragraphs documents. Well, it did it for me automatically. So when I highlight these four, just make sure I click this normal style. So these four weren't. So that's why I just highlighted them, come up here, clicked on the normal style, and it changed it to our new normal style. Now it says to edit the header. So up here's the header. I click up here, and we're going to type Alubi, A-L-O-U-B-I, okay, as the header text, followed by a plain page number one. So what I'm going to do is hit my space bar, and then I go up here and insert a page number. Now you can do it right here. You can do page number here. I always go over to insert page number. I guess I can do it here. And then we want to do in current position, plane number one. And so that puts the page number there. A lot of people miss that on the test. Now we need to close this header and footer. And do that, we just double click back down here out of it. If you're up in the header footer, you can also go up here to close header and footer. Either way, clicking down or closing. It. Now create a first line indent for all the body paragraphs, beginning with the recently developed, so right from here. And we want to go all the way down. So it says any power to consumers. So all the body paragraphs, I want to make sure I stop down here. Power to consumers. So right to here, I want to make sure I stop. So I'm going to go up here to paragraphs. I'm going to go to first line indent. So here's the indentation, first line. And it's a half inch indent. And say OK. I could also just drag this first line indent over here, the top one. It's first line indent. So there's two different ways of doing that. Now, in the third body paragraph, insert a citation to the existing Bowman source. So I want to go down here and count these paragraphs. That's why I turned the backwards P on. So I turn this P on. There's one, two, and so this is the third body paragraph. 
and we want to put it at before the period at the end of the sentence in centralized energy systems. So energy systems as a power station probably did blah, blah, blah. I want to be right here behind devices, okay? And so then we want to insert a citation. So I go to references, insert a citation, and they want, which one did they want? They want the Bingham source. So I click that, and automatically the Bingham source goes in there. Now on page two, so I come down to page two, find the sentence digitalization means. Um, if you, I can look clear through it, it the digitalization deals says digitalization means. And so the easy way to do this, I think, is I'm just going to highlight this first one and I'm going to copy this. And then what I'm going to do is hit Control F and they'll bring up the find. And then I can paste that word in there and I can tell it to go find that on the pages. And you know, to, when I hit enter, it should go through and find. So I'm looking for the digitalization. So I just go to the next one and you just go down through here. You'll you say you'll find the three results. So, and it said on page two, the sent digital means mechanizing. So actually it's right down here at the bottom. So I finally found it. So I can close this and that'll go away. Means mechanizing business processes here. And replace the word mechanizing. So I can find this word right here. I'm going to right click on it, go into synonyms. And they want me to change it with a synonym against the letter A. So automating would be the one I would pick. So that just changed that to automating. Now, reply to your instructor's comments attached to the same sentence with the following text. I add one. So here's the comments. We come over here to reply. And we just type, I added one. Period. In the same paragraph, edit the Geller citation to add 26 as the page number. So in the same paragraph, right here in this paragraph, i got to go and find this Geller right here. i got to click on it to get this little down arrow key, and they want me to edit it. So it's edit this source. So I want to add it so it's page number. It's edit the citation. Yep, I click the first one, edit citation, and I want pages 26. Now, does it want to add that, add the Geller citation to add 26? So, yeah, I just want to put page 26. So, it should go 12, Geller 26. And to make sure, I go look at the key. They always give you the key at the end. And I go back and look at what they have on theirs, which is the third back page on their Geller. And they say, yeah, mine looks just like the key does. Okay, so going on. On the back side, read and then delete the comment attached to the sentence. Significant progress is being made to provide so. Read and then delete the comment attached to the sentence. Significant process. So I'm looking down and I could. Significant process. So once again, I'm going to hit Control F. And I'm going to type significant. As soon as I start doing it, here it is. So I find it right here. And here's the comment over here. And what it wants me to do is read and delete this. You need a citation to support this sentence. So, so read and then delete it. So I read it. And then I can go over here. And you may have to zoom over here. So to delete this, press delete. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to delete this comment. I think I have to right click. I can delete this comment. Delete comment. There we go. So I deleted that comment and attached the sentence. If source being made electricity parts only do not have before the period of the sentence. So this whole significant progress being made parts of the building where they do not have. I'm close my fine. And so the end of the sentence here, before the period in that sentence, we're in a citation to a new source. So we've got to go in here and insert a new source. So we need to add a new source. We have to go up to insert citation. And they give us a box, so you want to make sure that you look at the box on the instructions. What I mean is, oh, I don't think I bring the other Word document over. Well, anyway, we want to change this to a website. So you have to scroll down and find website here. And then the author's name is Yang, comma, Tom, TM. Boy, you want to make sure you spell these right, because it'll take the points away from that. And then in the name of the web page is the last mile of electricity. You can tell I'm terrible at spelling last mile of electricity. I'm checking my spelling once, two, three, four, five times. Electricity. 
see. Got that right. Come down here, 2020. And it's May. And the fourth day. And then below that, I X this this on 2021. There's a good point. When you're doing websites, a lot of times you won't know when they were created, but you do know when you access them. So if you can't find out when they're created, you can always cite your source by when you accessed it. And then two. And then the medium down here is going to be website with a capital E, oh, a capital W on the back. Oh, crap, I closed that. Now, if that happens there and I've screwed up here, I'm going to go back to undo. I need to go back and edit this source. I messed up, so I need to go in to edit the source, bring it back up, because I did not get this medium web site in there. So I want to check this, and I'll make sure. Um, your tag name down here does not matter. That's why they have a grayed out. So Yang20, this shows has been done 20 times on this computer because it starts out with one. So I'm just checking all my information going down here, make sure I got everything right here. Now I say, okay, your source exists in your mass list. Current doc, do you wish to update? Yes. Because I had to go back and change. Yours probably won't pop up that where I screwed up. So now it says in the last body paragraph for the period at the end of the sentence. So I come down here, the last body paragraph, which I went too far. So come down here, last body paragraph, right here, before the period at the end of the sentence. The rapidly falling cost. You don't see rapidly falling cost come down here. That's what I'm saying. In the last body paragraph. So, rapid falling cost. So, I'm going to go in here, Control F. Rapidly falling cost was the name of it. So, I'm trying to find this. Rapidly. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's right. It was here, right here. So, I'm going to close that. Now I know where it is. The rapidly falling cost. I want to go to the end of the period, so that'd be the end of customers here. So rapidly find cost the utility customers. Insert a citation placeholder using boys as the name of the placeholder. So I want to right click here. I think I have to do this under references. Insert a placeholder. So I come down here and add a new placeholder. And then I'm just going to name this Moise. I put the Moise as a placeholder there. Now I delete the Briggs source from the current list of sources. So I need to go to Manage Sources. I got to come over here and find the Briggs source and delete that out. Say close that. Now find all the instances of the word development and change that to trans. So I need to go to the top of the document. When you're doing a re find and replace, you always want to start at the very top document. You can hit Control Home will take you up to the top. And then we go over here to Home and we're going to go up to Replace bring up the find and replace box that didn't pop up oh it did it popped up on a different screen that's why you can see it and what we want to do is replace this is words development development is it capitalized development no so i need d-e-v-e-l-o-p-e-n so development and then down here i want to replace with trends Okay, so it tells me for the instance of the so I'm going to say replace all. I found three of them. Make sure that I did that right. So, okay. Now I can close that. Now, the blank paragraph at the end of the document insert a bibliography command to insert a list of sources without a built in heading. So clear down here under the works cited. They want me to just click right here. We go up to references. It goes bibliography and it's insert bibliography down here, this one here. So this is how you do it. You always type the word site, center it, and then underneath insert your sources. And so my document looks like the final one. Now I need to go in and save this. I already saved it in my box. I know where I saved it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here. And now I'm going to drag and drop here, browse files. I'm going here. I'm going to go in here, and that was today's assignment. So I just look for the fourth. Easiest way to do that, submit that for grade, and then pick this grade summary report, and OK. And it gives me, and I can see I screwed up here. I had 77 to 10. Wow, I screwed up big time. 
footnote textile should be month oh i missed a whole step so that's why we give you three tries now you're gonna go back figure out where i missed editing the footnote create apply a modified normal style oh step six i totally missed the footnote okay and that took a ton of points off the ink source should last my electricity i misspelled that so i need to go change that so what i'm going to do is i just open my file and that's why i always closed it so here i'm going to go close these instructions so i don't get confused so i'm going to go open my file back up so i go into my documents i go into fall i go into cs 110 homework i go into today's assignments the one i was working on okay so i'm going to bring this over here so you can see what i'm doing so the first thing I need to do is modify that footnote style. So I need to come down here, right click on this, and then go to style, make sure it's footnote text, go to modify. I need to change this to size 12 point font. So by changing the font to 12 point, the line spacing to double, and then indentation. So I need to go to format paragraphs. Come over here to special first line indent half inch say okay okay apply and i always hit save afterwards to make sure i save that so that was one of mine now i'm going to minimize this okay the next one that i missed so that's the footnote that was the style footnote 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 so now i'm going to come down here the yang source the last mile of electricity a big tip so let's go last mile for electricity let's see how i screwed that up so let's go look at this i go into review Go to my source on references. Go to my managed sources. I'm going to open up the Yang one. And he's still over here, right here. I go into edit. And the last mile of electricity. I need to fix this. So let me go see what I have, what I misspelled here. The last mile four. So instead of here, this should be four electricity. And it's all lower case. So I say for electricity, I say, okay, yes, I have to update both lists, yes. A big tip on this, too, to make sure you have to come down here and click on this. Remember how we updated this before? Well, this doesn't have the update box, so if you hit F9 on your keyboard, that updates it. Or Control F9 updates all your source, but that way I just made that was updated. So that was one thing I missed. Now, find and replace the first sense of the word developments. So I screwed up and I typed development. So I need to open my document. I need to go to the top. So I'm going to hit Control Home to get to the very top where I could have scrolled up. I need to go back to this replace. And I need to put developments and replace all. So there was, so I guess, what was that? Find all this is developments, document use trends. Even though I didn't find them, it fixed the ones. Oh, I see what happened, because what happened, all the trends that added S's to these, because I didn't put developments in there. Dang it. So, I'm going to close this. I need to change these to trends. There should be, <laughs> so I'm right-click and change these. Go down to the next one. There was three of them, so that should fix that. Now, I'm going to go save this. I'm going to go right to close this. I'm going to close this score sheet. I really don't care about it anymore. I'm going to go back into the website. I'm going to go to browse again. Go find today's file. Go back to create, you to resubmit the project, close the screen, and return MindTap or relaunch the project. So it's saying you can't submit them back to back. So I have to close that, go back into this project, restart again. Go to start here. Click on browse files. Go to today's assignment. This one, I know is the one. Resubmit, grade summary, look at my summary. And then I'll see, it still got me for a few points. You guys see why you're at. The footnote should be inserted after the period in the sense lefrication is a process to run on long electrical power. So I put the footnote. I missed that. But you know what? At this point, 94 is plenty good enough because my teacher. And then the other thing about this, I want you guys to submit the document, this document down here to me. So really what I wanted was this piece down here. So if you submit it down here with all this in here and 94, I'm probably going to give you 10. If I wanted to fix that, I could go fix it easy enough because I have one more research, but 94 for me is a pretty good score.
So I just go in and I could save this whole thing, file save as. And I got enable saving. And then so I don't get confused, I'm going to go save this as score. So I need to go in and make sure I'm saving this in the right place. I'll go to documents, fall, homework. And this was the Word Module 2, so I'm going to save this as score in front of here, so I know score, Gerald Sampson Report 2. And then for my notes, I'm just going to put 10 underscore 4, because I know it's today. So when I go look for it to submit it to Canvas. So I come back out to Canvas. Come down to today's assignment. Features Electricity, and start the assignment, go to Upload File, and make sure I submit the score. So go to Browse, and you'll see I asked you, you can upload the file too, your Word file showing it's done. So really I'll take either one on this one, and you'll notice in the notes. But anyway, I want to make sure I go in here, I'm in the wrong place, I'm in Documents, I want to go to Fall, I want to go to Homework. So that's why I'm saying if you submit the score one for today, it has your document attached. Or I would have took just the document with all the corrections on it. Either one I'll take. So anyway, I submit that. And now I know it's done. One thing you should always do on Mondays is go check your grades. So I go check my grades here. I'll see, oh crap, I got a zero here. And the teacher sent me a note. So I'll go in here in the note. I submitted the wrong score for this. So I need to go back to Word Module 1 SAM. So I just click in the engage, copy my score, and resubmit that to this and get it fixed today. So anyway. That is that. So hopefully you'll do well on this assignment. Um, if not, you know where to get a hold of me. I'm always right here. So have a great day.